after I go by the name Baba Tunde Olushala, I was detained in the FCRD Abuja by the police for creating a parody account of the ex-president of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Ibele Jonathan. I made the tweet that was May 5th, 2020, in which I felt I just made an, I made a harmless tweet and all, so I expected nothing this bad from me for so. So I got arrested on the 23rd of May. So they took my phone from me, my power bank, and as an exhibit and all. So we went down to the SAS station in Ogumosho. That was at Ogumosho first. I was in Ogumosho then, because I school at Ogumosho, and due to the cases of coronavirus in Lagos, I had to stay back at Ogumosho. They were able to disclose to me that I said something about good luck, Jonathan. So I was like, oh. So then I could recall that I tweeted something May 5th. So my uncle came around, but I told him not to bother. So I'll just explain things to them, and once they get my explanations, I'll be home. They came and said, we have to get to Ibadan this night. That was around past eight. So we had to leave for Ibadan around past eight. We got to Ibadan, Dube, Sass. I was able to talk to one of the policemen and talk to the president of the cell. So he said the only thing he could just do was let me sleep at the edge, but he would just try to make sure they don't touch me. So they never touched me in, the, in that exact cell. So they had to tell me to sleep at the edge of the toilet. The next day, that was Sunday, May 24th, they came around and said we were to go to Abuja. And I was like, wow. Because, like, it, it's just, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how, how I'll put it though, but like everything was just meeting me um, by shock. They brought the leg up. They cuffed my leg and I was like, who did I kill? When we got to Abuja, we went to the first headquarters. So when I got to the Asokoro cell around, I guess, if not past 12 or so, guys were like, what was your thing? So I was like, I made a tweet about good luck. So no one believed it, so they thought I was lying. Then they just had to just slap me and I just got like three slaps, which I lost my sight immediately, like instantly. They were like, no, you've killed someone, you've done this. But I was there for four days till Wednesday before I saw a police show up. And I met with the IEG and I tried explaining to him. Oh, because he was like, why did you impersonate? I was even surprised when I saw my charges, they said I impersonated. I defrauded the members with the account and I defamed this character and I was like, it was my personal account, but I did it under the rules of parody. He wasn't really getting what I was trying to explain to him. So, so he had to transfer the case to the DIG. They transferred the case to Interpol. And from there, I got, I got detained in the FCID Abuja. So I had to stay behind bars till, I guess, June 22 before I was taken to court. So, and we had the second year in June 24th. Yeah, so, then I was granted bail in court. There's this mental effect. You, you're hearing someone raped and murdered someone, you're hearing, and you get to sit with them one-on-one, -on -one. You, you get to sleep with them, you get to, the whole cell system is not even, it's not even, like it's not cool at all. I spent them um, 81 days, yeah, 81 days. It was, it was mad. I was putting on the same clothes for 80 days. I've been granted bill and they report my lawyer gave to me, I know. They said the ex-president already ordered for the withdrawal of the case. But they, they said I need to go for the next year in first. That's September 21st, next month. That's so once I'm done with the hearing, they do withdraw the case. What, what I realized from all this is democracy isn't really what we call it to be, because the whole system is just something else. 
Like there's freedom of speech, but freedom after speech ain't as sure than us. I collected no money from nobody using the name Jonathan. I, all, I only used the ex-president's info to run the parody account for less than 24 hours. It never, I, it never lasted for 16 hours, not even 16. So, because I have a lot to do on my page. So I just, and I specified on my vow, I made all clarifications that it was parody and all, because there's nothing I would even gain from the page, not even the engagement, because I get engagement on my personal page. The most annoying part is, people will get to commit bigger cases, get to meet me in the cell, and leave before me. No one was even understanding me, like no one was getting what I was trying to say. To the extent that even I, my IPO brought the phone a day and it Googled parody. And the English was looking different, like it wasn't English anymore, because I was showing him what it meant, and it was just, I don't know, I don't know. Though. My account to anyone who got a parody account is, the person should try something different, get a different also, because if I could run something for less than 16 hours and get detained for 81 days, how about someone who lives on running a parody account? Like I say, they would detain him for maybe 600 years or something. It's, just sad though, sad. So just so you don't get yourself messed up by anyone, anyone basically, anyone.